Both Canada and the U.S. revealed this week that the border between the two countries will remain closed until at least July 21st. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is set to ease some restrictions for travelers in the coming weeks, but residents on both sides are itching for a reopening. Jerry Zremski of the Buffalo News joins us. Jerry, lots of frustrations we're hearing from residents in western New York, and I imagine on the political beat in Buffalo that you are hearing the same thing. Yes, I am hearing the same thing, and I'm not just hearing it from Buffalo, which is very interesting. I've been covering this border closure for a very long time and been doing it in a pretty microscopic way. And as a result, word has gotten around that the Buffalo News is covering it this way. And now I get emails from people in Vancouver and from the state of Maine, from Michigan, uh, from all over the place who have a vested interest in getting the border open. Is it the U.S. waiting for Canada to make the change, make the decision, make the necessary steps to get this open? Is that what we're waiting for right now? That is pretty much what I am hearing from my American sources, that, that America is ready to go, but it does not want to go on its own, that it wants Canada to come along and for, the, for both sides of the border to be opened at the same time. So that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for Canada to become comfortable with that. What are the opinions in the United States and New York State in particular about Justin Trudeau and Doug Ford at this time? I think there is just a great deal of frustration, and I think that frustration spelled itself out in what Buffalo's Congressman Brian Higgins had to say last week when he said, in, in essence, and I will use a euphemism because I don't want to use the exact term for your uh, viewers, but he basically said that Canada's decision was bovine excrement, if you know what I mean. So that is a pretty good sign of how frustrated he is, how frustrated People in Buffalo who own, own, who own summer homes on the Niagara Peninsula, how frustrated they are, and how frustrated especially people are when they're separated from their loved ones. And there are thousands of people like that who you know, have their loved one on the other side of the border, be it a parent or a partner. And those people just really feel like they're suffering, and they are really very angry at both Trudeau and Ford. At the same time, when you're talking about these people from the United States who own properties in Fort Erie or Niagara Falls, for that matter, at the same time, Canada is talking about a tax on foreign-owned homes in the country. And that really doesn't seem fair for some of those people who use these homes as their summer homes. Well, the tax has not been fully defined as of yet. And what I hear from my Canadian sources is that it's not intended to uh, be imposed on people who own summer homes. But it all depends on the particulars and how the law is written. If it's just a flat out tax on vacant property and people have not been able to go to their summer cottages for more than a year, do, do they get swept up accidentally in this? And there's just a lot of concern in the United States that that couldn't conceivably happen. And because of that, Congressman Higgins is talking about trying to write uh, a kind of a retaliatory tax uh, that would force Canadians who own property, say, in the Ellicottville ski, property, ski country of Western New York, to pay a tax as well. So however this law is drawn up by the Trudeau government is very important, I think, because if it does sweep up these, these homeowners in this, it's going to cause a lot of resentment, and it's going to probably cause a lot of them to simply sell their homes. We obviously need the American tourists to come back up to get things closer to back to normal. But I was shocked to know that Buffalo relies on, I think it's about 39% of its visitors come from Canada, which is something that I really didn't know the number was that high. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's huge for a lot of reasons. We have Canadians who come across to shop at, uh, at the Walden Galleria Mall. We have Canadians who come over for Bills games or for Sabres games. Uh, and, and we have other tourist attractions as well. So, so there are, are a lot of reasons for Canadians to come over. And the sense I've always had was that the Buffalo region and the Niagara region of Canada were really like one contiguous binational bi area. And what this is really doing is ending that, at least temporarily. July 21st is the day that is marked, but we know from experience over the last 15 months, we've heard a lot of different dates, and then we hear a new date just before that date 
that was targeted. Do you expect that's going to happen again, or will we finally see it happen July 21st? I have a gut feeling that we will see it happen finally on July 21st. And the reason I feel that way is because Canada's vaccination rate has accelerated to the point where a very significant number of Canadians will be fully vaccinated by that date. So my gut tells me that uh, July 21st will be the magic date. Jerry, thanks so much uh, for sharing the perspective from south of the border. That's Jerry Zremski, Buffalo News, Washington Bureau Chief. Thanks again. Thank you so much.